nine. For the rows, you can do them in a number of different ways. And again, this is all based on personal preference or what you're gonna be doing for the design layout job. To create a solid square, a uh, fully square layout, you're gonna move that number of rows up to 12. That's gonna create this perfect square grid structure that I feel is, uh, is, is really good for starting out with any sort of newsletter design and is uh, pretty flexible as well. So this is what we're gonna go ahead and start with for the guides. So this is gonna be your basic structure. Again, you can change this up completely, make a lot more, fewer, whatever. It's all up to your personal preference, but this is what we did for now. From within this grid structure, you can do a whole bunch of things as far as uh, laying out your project. So to kind of get it to what we had before, assuming that we have a nice header page right here, that is going to be, say this is gonna be an image, so go and fill this with, say, blue. And then you want your title to be, uh, say, up here, right like this, to kind of represent that this is a kind of title section. And again, you're using the F key to uh, go to your kind of wireframing tool. And so then say as well, um, right here you're going to have your title for your first paragraph, and we'll maybe make that stretch out a little bit more. And then we'll go ahead and create the body text that's gonna be right about here. And that'll stretch out, say this far. This as well, you want your footer that you're gonna to have to show like say the rest of the contents of your newsletter. So right here you have your first two columns as you saw the two columns that we created in the beginning. So these two columns are gonna be the kind of area for your main body text, uh, your main paragraph, what have you. And then this leaves us a third column to work with for any secondary uh, articles or what whatnot. This is gonna be, this is kind of the exact layout that I showed you at the beginning. Uh, just an example of what you can work with with the very simple grid structure that I showed you how to create. Now something to remember is that grids are our guides. They're not restrictions. They're not something that you should feel restricted to, but something that you can help adequately structure your kind of creative vision for what whatever layout you're gonna be doing. A really awesome quote about and referring to grids uh, was said by Alan Hurlburt, and this is what he said. He said that the grid is not an absolute. It should be used with flexibility, and when necessary, it should be modified or abandoned completely for a more workable solution. So kind of the point of this is that guides are aids, they're tools, they're not restrictions. So make sure that you don't let the guide restrict your creativity, only act as an aid or a benefit to, uh, to keeping structure and keeping organization within your uh, future design layout. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful for you guys and I hope that you can use this kind of grid structure system to benefit you and help as an aid in any future design layout projects. With that said, have a fantastic day and we'll see you later. Test our faith, and we will find we will find that it works. You have a great website. Let's make sure people see it. GoDaddy website hosting is fast, secure, and always online, all at an affordable price. Get a domain and email plus expert support 24/7. That's a lot of value. The best of all, it means that site you've worked so hard on will actually get seen. Get fast, secure, and reliable hosting at GoDaddy.com. That we must carry out. That is what you read from this, the rest of the statement of Jesus about this servant. Hi, this is Luke Gibson, and so I'm going to be showing drops, you how to create no how a baseline aligned grid in design. Apron, in graphic design, a common problem when using grids is that the baselines don't automatically match up with the ones, such as photographs or large titles. And I'm going to be showing you how to create a grid where the baseline is lined perfectly up with the rows that you've created um, in the design. So the first thing that you'll want to know for this project is what leading you'll want to be using. Because the entire grid is calculated based off God, of the letting that you choose, it's not really something you can change. Not expect so um, after whatever experimentation, um, comps Rather, that you print out, you um, you'll want to definitely servants, have a good idea of what typeface and what letting you'll be using before servants. you create the grid. So let's when get started. You have done all that you Go ahead are and create a do, new um, we have only done document by going to File New Document or Final Splash page. 
or the new I'm creating it there. And um, what I'm going to be doing here is unchecking facing pages. So instead of working with a spread, we'll just be working with a single page at the moment. And this grid tutorial will work with any size or format of um, spread or page or um, iPad screen or what have you. As long as you follow the steps in this tutorial, it should work just fine. For this example, we'll be using just our standard letter size page. We need and we'll go ahead and push OK. To be able to now, to the first thing you need to do, as you know what your um, letting is, you'll want to enter that into the baseline grid in InDesign. And the way to do that is to go to InDesign CC, Preferences, Grids, do, and go ahead and open that up. Keep giving and to under Jesus the baseline Christ, grid section, there's a couple of things that we're going to change. The most important ones are under Start, you'll want to percentage. change that to zero. So your baseline grid starts at the top of the page. Says, Never and be ashamed under increment every, you'll want to change that to your chosen letting. For this example, we'll be using 13 point letting. And so I'm just going to type in 13 PT. And this is just personal Gospel taste. This is totally is optional, but I prefer to change my faith. baseline grid color from light blue Jesus Christ, to a light gray. So it's a little bit easier on the eyes. Of God Push himself. OK. And um. Who, his what you'll want to do next is go to View, power, Grids and Guides, love, Show Baseline Grid. If it's not showing up, that's because your view threshold isn't high enough. And the way you can change that, if you want to, is either by zooming in, so you can see it, or if you go to Preferences and back to our Grid section, you can change the view threshold to something like 5%. From the prophet, what this means is when you're zoomed out and the, the page is only at 5% of its actual it size, um, it will still show the baseline grid. Push OK, us, and it will show up right there. Now, the first step Habakkuk is to edit your baseline grid to match your line. The second the one is that we need to make our margins see, match the baseline grid. So us. under layout, go to margins and columns. Everything seems to be falling apart. And here, we'll want to make sure that this link, box, link button is checked, and we'll check that to make sure that all our margins God change to the same amount at the same time. And um, the easiest way to do this is to create a calculation right here in the top box. And because we know that our baseline units are 13 points each, we can simply type 13 times 3 PT. And what that will do is it will make Give it so God the margins are exactly three baseline units um, thick. <laughs> so if, if we hit Lord, tab, it will apply to all the other margins. Lord, we'll push OK. And survive. we can see that if we zoom in a little bit, um, Lord, our margins on the top, our, our margin on the top is perfectly matched and our margins on the sides are the this same size. The that problem that we have right now, though, is that when we scroll down to the bottom, not saying, um, our men are driving is not matching. Is the reason I why this is, is no. because the page size, in this case and the letter that I've chosen, like, is, um, is not a perfect, not follow, it's not perfectly divisible you, by the amount of baseline units we've created. Right if we simply took faith. 13 points and multiplied faith. them by that whatever this number of baselines is, we'd have a perfect page. But um, in this case, the simplest thing to do really is just to Even when God your bottom to margin to match it. Um, alternately, you can um, mathematically create a page that will be divided per into perfect baselines, but um, that's not something we're really concerned about at the moment. So um, let's just go to layout, back to margins and columns, and um, we'll uncheck this box because we only want to change the bottom margin. And um, at the bottom, if I zoom in here a little bit so I can get a better view of this, I want to make sure that I just click it down, or if you're further off, you might have to click it a few times, but I just kind of change it so that the margin matches the bottom baseline right here perfectly. Go ahead and push OK. You might have a problem where no matter what you do, it won't line up perfectly, and that is possibly because your page isn't in even points. So if you look under and File, Document, Setup, and you see that um, a strange Best decimal way. here, like 66 pikas, 4.23 points and or something like that, you want to get rid of the decimal and make sure everything's in even points and pikas, and that will pray. fix the problem. Go ahead and push OK. Zoom out, and um, we, we are already halfway there. We, where we have, have our margins perfectly aligned faith. to our baseline grid. The it next step, and really the core of what we're kindness. doing here, is that we want to take the amount of baselines we have Spray within these margins Lord, and divide God. them into even amounts. You these groups that we're dividing kindness, it into will actually become our rows for our, our merits, 
So the thing that we want to do first is we need to know how many rows there are inside these margins so we can actually even divide them in the first place. The way that I do it is a little bit primitive, but it seems to work. And what I do is I make sure to click on our rectangle tool and I simply um, count out 10 baselines. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here I have um, a, a 10 baseline tall block. By holding down shift and option, I can click and drag and it will copy it over and over. And I know that each one of these units is 10 baselines. It makes it really easy to count. So it looks like we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and some change. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. 55 is a great number to divide by. It gives us several options for um, different amounts of rows that we can create. If you get a really bizarre number, such as 57 or 41, something that's not easily divisible into large groups, um, you might want to consider changing your margin size, changing your wedding, changing your page size. Any number really that you change will give you a different amount of baselines to work with. Um, the easiest thing, sure that would probably be to make your margins you larger or smaller um, to give you a different number of baselines to divide. But we don't have that problem right now, so we're going to go ahead and stick with 55. I'm going to delete these boxes, and um, what we need to do is figure out how many rows we can create in um, this grid based on 55. So 55 clearly is going to be divisible by 5. So um, by hitting my spotlight search or opening a calculator or using a calculator, at your but desk, anything is fine. We'll want to calculate this. The point and here is we want to end up with an even number at the end. So let's take 55 and we'll divide it by um, 5. So we know that we can get 11 rows out of the baseline grid. We have an even pass. number of 11 right here. If it's a decimal, this number is representing 11 baselines. If it's a decimal, it's 11 point something baselines, and our grid is not going to line up perfectly to the baseline but grid. So we know that we can do five. Um, one easy way to do it is just start at two, ask, three, four, people. five. Here's faith, our first even one. Six, kindness, seven, eight, nine, best. 10. Um, even 5.5 .5 is still uneven, so we don't want to use it. It looks like All 55 and when, 11. Um, 11. When we approach our Lord and God in faith, the righteous person, lives by faithfulness. Let's rise and profess our faith.
Our Lord Jesus Christ calls us to be persistent in prayer and be steadfast in our faith, even in the difficult moments of our lives. Let us pray for the gifts of true faith and for our other needs. For the leaders of the church, that their faith may continue to grow and never fail them. Let us pray to the Lord. that they may grow in the fear of the Lord and through their selfless service foster justice and peace in the country. Let us pray to the Lord. like the apostles, they may recognize their need of God and cry to him for the increase of their faith. Let us pray to the Lord.
worshiping community, that God may increase our faith so that in every situation of our lives, we may always seek to please him. Let us pray to the Lord. the dead, especially those of our family members, that they may find eternal rest with the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty, ever-living God, look kindly on your people who this day cry to you. Grant us the gift of true faith and the virtue of humility, and in your kindness, hear and answer our prayers. Through Christ our Lord. Praise the Lord. It is nine time for offer tree. We request our parents, and our friends to kindly follow the directives of the auxiliaries. Thank you.
Loyola House members assigned to present the offertory to please proceed to the back of the chapel. May we now stand as we present the gift of bread and wine, which will become for us the body and blood of Christ. The gifts of bread and wine represent the labor of our hands and the fruits of our lands. Sacrifice may be acceptable to God, 
the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands. And through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them that they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Oh. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Ignatius, our Archbishop, Anselm, his auxiliary, John, our Emeritus, Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Ignatius of Loyola, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who fall to the supper of the Lamb. Now it is time for communion. Communion is for Catholics who have received their first Holy Communion. For others who wish to participate, I invite you to approach the altar with your hands crossed over your chest in order to receive blessing from the minister. May we all be richly blessed by the Spirit of God.
Shaken by the storm, I know you're in control. Even in our suffering, even when it can be seen, I know you're in control. Oh, I, I, I hear you say, I hear you say. voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. Every single lie that tells me I will never measure up. Never measure up. Am I more than just the sum of every high and every low? Remind me once again just who I am because I need to know. Ooh, oh, you say I am loved. You say I am loved. I can't feel a thing. When I can't feel a thing. You say I am strong. You say I am strong. I think I am weak. When I think I am weak. You say I am held. You say I am held. I am falling when short. When I am falling short. When I don't belong. When I don't belong. You say The Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the soul that seeks him. 
Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. May we be seated. Praise the Lord. God is good and all the time. Loyola House. Thank you to all the members of Loyola House for animating this mass. The hour has come. All the members of Loyola House, both staff and students, please proceed to the back of the chapel for your thanksgiving. We also invite all the friends of Loyola House to please join them in thanking God for the good things he has done for them. The choir will help us with some melodious choruses. To lead, to lead the um, Thanksgiving, the alumni, are you here? Are you here? You are not yet alumni, just wait. Do you have alumni here? They can remember their good old days. Even though if you are not in Lola House, leave <laughs> So you all welcome back to the den. So they will with the Loyola House come for their Thanksgiving. The choir, please. Hello? Hello? Ah, la jean for what's happening? Yeah, the la house mass. The la house mass. We should do it again. Okay, okay. Same bit as last time. Okay. Hey. hey, you know how we do it now? We deliver the music loud. We just, we just, we just. Hey, yeah. Hey, Lash, are you here with me? Yes, my brother, I'm here, you see? That's his ecstasy. On the count of three. Hey. One, two, three. Hey. Under the canopy, under the canopy, under the canopy of God. My savior will cover me, give me security. Honor the canopy, oh God. I am honor the canopy, honor the canopy, honor the canopy, oh God. The savior will cover me, give me security. Honor the canopy, oh God. Hey, hey. LJC Chotibo, Bo, Jesus he is the Lord, Lord, Jesus give me the love, love, love is better than enough, now, praise him forevermore, oh, uh, all my problems they solve, oh, uh, see ya, Jamaica love, ah, uh, see ya, we don't evolve, eh, see ya, we don't grow, grow, can you not let you flow, flow, see ya, we don't flow, flow, don't forget Satibo, bo, 50, 80, you know, no, you can to the session, Jody, see one inspection, walking out to the session, Nadi Kanupi, oh, Nadi Kanupi, oh, Nadi Kanupi, oh, no. My Savior will cover me, give me security. Oh, no, be your God. Oh, no, me, I don't talk too much. I'll make me shake this church because this love is too much. Give me the holy church. Just because hey. my Lord, my hey. Savior, He hey. called me with His neighbor. Hey. He said, He blessed my neighbor. Hey. Told me hey. to love my neighbor. Who are your neighbor? Cap City, already see. Hey, 
Under the canopy, I know you're there for me. You are my everything. No, no tears of you cover me. You give me everything. Please. Under the canopy, I know you're there for me. You are my everything. No, you give me security. Give me everything. Thank you to the members of Loyola House. On Red Sea, Lorian Sea, Panamia Wind, and Oshnek, Togu Chaki, Wobi, my Ejali, Chaki Boti, and even Abara DC. On Adi Kanopi, I know you're there for me, you are my everything, Lord. Jesus gave me a super army, you give me anything, Jesus, you know. Please, may we give another round of applause to the members of Loyola House. We thank everyone who has contributed to the success of this celebration. In a special way, we want to thank the members of Loyola House for animating this liturgy. Can we put our hands together for them? We thank the members of the choir, the altar servers, the auxiliary, and staff members of Loyola House. Please, may we put our hands together for them. We thank in a special way His Eminence, for graciously accepting to preside over our liturgy. Thank you, Your Eminence. We also thank all the concelebrating priests, the religious sisters, and all of you for gracing this celebration with your presence. May God bless you all. I will now invite the primary school students and their teachers to please come forward for a blessing from his eminence. The primary school students and their teachers, please come forward. The Loyola Academy is set to open its doors tomorrow. So we pray for them today that God may grant success to the works of their hands. Please may we welcome them with a round of applause.
May we put our hands together. May we put our hands together for them. Thank you, Your Eminence. After the final blessing, the Loyola Academy and their teachers will take a group picture before going home. Then the pride will proceed to the dining for their tea break, while the rest of us will proceed to the memplex for the lecture from His Eminence, Cardinal John Onaikon. We we'll also like to recognize in a special way the presence of the alumni. You are welcome. And thank you for joining us and for praying with us this day. It is equally a blessing to Loyola House members that your presence graced this occasion. Thank you so very much. Once again, after the final blessing, we request all staff and students, the students to proceed to the dining hall for their tea break, while the staff to please move to Memorial Hall for the inaugural lecture by His Eminence. At this juncture, I now ask His Eminence to give us his final blessing. Thank you. We invite all those celebrating their birthdays to please come forward. Many, many happy returns. It's your birthday. That is what I can say. I wish you many, many happy returns. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah. Are you happy? I am, I am jealous. Maybe on my birthday, His Eminence will also be here so that I will get a blessing from him. So thank you very much and happy birthday to our Metron and congratulations. I now ask, I now ask His Eminence to please give us his final blessing. Before the final blessing, I want to thank all those my friends who have joined my close friends of 50 who, are, who have come for this Mass and who will join us for the lecture after the Mass. Members of my family, members of my household of Domus Patches and friends and other people who are well known to me. May God bless all of you and may the joy we see in this chapel fly all over Nigeria to all our young children, many of whom are anything but happy in these days. The Lord be with you. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Master, let's go for glorifying the Lord with our lives. Primary school students and their teachers, please go outside for a group picture. The primary school students and their teachers, please go outside for a group picture. Thank you. 